Hello people, hope you're well and good and I hope you're keeping safe. I'm just out doing my exercise today and I thought I'd do a short video just to talk about exercising, what you're allowed to do and how to keep safe and what precautions I'm taking. So at the moment with this coronavirus outbreak, can you go out exercising? Yes, you absolutely can go out once per day to exercise, be that walking, running or cycling. And that's according to the government. It's also according to my local council and my local police. It's absolutely fine to exercise, but it's absolutely vital that you take precautions when you're doing so. And in my humble opinion, if you can't exercise precautions when you're doing your exercise, you should, probably shouldn't be doing it. You should be staying at home if you can't be sensible about it. So the precautions that you need to be taking are that you need to be staying at least a minimum of two meters away from other people. And that's, you know, the more you can stay away from other people, the better if you can stay four meters away, that's miles better. But two meters is the minimum. You're not allowed to go out in groups of more than two people unless it's your own household members. And basically the easiest way I can explain it really is you should be constantly on the move doing your exercise. And that's like, you know, whether you're running, walking or cycling, you're just moving because you're doing exercise. If you just stood there or sat down, you're not exercising, are you? And that's what the police are pulling people up for, is congregating in groups, you know, not moving, not exercising. So that's what you need to look out for. This walk I'm on today, it's not a particularly pleasant walk, right near uh, an electric power station. And, uh, you know, it's a bit grim, even though it's a nice day today. But the reason I come here, it's very quiet. There's hardly anyone here. It's very near for me to get to. And it's a wide, quiet lane. So if someone else is coming, you can cross over to the other side. So that's why this is ideal for the purposes for myself. And the problem is at the moment we've had a couple of days sunny weather and some people are still thinking it's a walk in the park like a leisurely summer's day activity going out and chilling out and meeting people and it's not at all it's purely for exercise uh, for you physically and you know for your mental well-being as well so that's what you'd be doing and you're going to be on the move constantly while you're doing it if you're doing it right yeah, there's some people blissfully unaware of all this going on. They're just going about the daily lives and, you know, it's like, come on, wakey, wakey. You're not in Kansas anymore. So these are the guidelines as of now anyway. It may change in the future, but that's what it is for now. There's a lot of false internet stuff going around. People not sure what they can and can't do or saying you can do this and you can't do that. What you need to do is follow the official guidelines. First, the government, NHS official guidelines and see what your local council and police are saying as well if you want the proper official information so in general today it does look like things are getting a bit better it looks like people are taking precautions more seriously in general and it's a lot quieter uh, so hopefully the pennies dropped with most people and things will get better because as soon as people start being more sensible it's going to save more lives so that's what we've got to think about so I'm going to wrap this short video up for today. So I hope that's helpful and uh, giving you some things to consider. And I hope you all keep safe and I'll catch you soon on a video. Bye.